All right, my dear students, we are working on the provision for depreciation part. How to make a provision for depreciation account, also known as accumulated depreciation account. Now, let me read a question for you. The following balances were recorded in the books of Sophia on 1st March 2015. So, they are the opening balances that is on 1st March. We have motor vehicles, the cost of which is 50,000. We have provision for depreciation that is total depreciation of 18,400 has been charged on these vehicles. This is the data for the start of the year. In note one, it says that we have a motor vehicle that costed 16,000 and that had an accumulated depreciation at the date of disposal of 7,000. We sold it for how much? For 8,400. And on 30th June 2015, we have bought a new vehicle uh, 20,000 on credit. Now the policy for charging depreciation for Sophia is 25% reducing balance, diminishing balance method, okay. And it's a full year policy. Note a full year depreciation is charged in the year of purchase. No depreciation in the year of sale. So first of all, we need to find the profit year loss. But we are uh, not going to do profit or loss now. First of all, we are concerned with how to make a provision for depreciation account. And for that, we need to find the depreciation as well. Now, let us calculate, uh, do this part first, uh, how to calculate depreciation. Although we are done uh, in the previous lessons, uh, how to calculate depreciation. But let me recap it quickly. So, first of all, we need to see that which depreciation policy is there. It's a reducing balance 25%. Now, in a reducing balance, we always charge depreciation rate 25% on the net book value. What is the cost at the start of the year? Dear students, cost is 50,000. So, yeah, this, so, so, our starting point would be this 50,000. Now, as you can see, note number one, we have sold a machine that had costed the business originally uh, 16,000. Okay, the original cost is 16,000. So we are going to deduct the asset that was costed, uh, that cost us 16,000. Okay, so we deducted the asset that cost 16,000 previously. And what we need to do, we need to add the new asset. The new uh, vehicle was bought for 20,000. So we need to minus the asset that we have sold this year and we need to plus the asset that we have bought this year. Now at the end of the year, we are left with uh, assets that cost 54,000 okay so this is the cost if the depreciation policy would have been straight line we need to apply 25% uh, on the cost but in this question it is not a cost method but instead it is reducing balance method now what we need to do we need to uh, deduct the total depreciation from the original cost so the total depreciation known as accumulated depreciation now as you can see at the start of the year, we have total depreciation of 18,400 and out of that, we need to deduct the total depreciation of the asset that we have just disposed of. Now in note number one, it mentions that accumulated depreciation is 7,000 of the asset that we have disposed of. So uh, if we uh, deduct 7,000 from this total depreciation, we are left with net book value that is 11,400. Okay. So if we deduct... Uh, Accumulated depreciation from the original cost, we are left with NBV net book value. And now what we are going to do, we need to apply percentage on this net book value, 42,600 times 25%. So the depreciation this year is 10,650. Okay. So we, are we have calculated depreciation and now we can move on to the next part. The next part is about how to make a provision for depreciation account. Okay, so the provision for depreciation also known as accumulated depreciation, it is a contra asset. Now, what is the contra asset? Contra asset is anything that reduces the value of our, our asset. So the balance brought down always comes on the credit side. Okay, now as you can see at the start of the year, we have a provision of 18,400. So the balance BD will always come on the credit side because it is a contra asset. Okay. And whenever we charge depreciation this year, the general entry for charging depreciation would be income statement account would be debited and the provision account would be credited. Now we have already uh, learned how to calculate depreciation. This is 10,650. So the entry would be provision would be credited. Why? Because the provision is being increased and 
the income statement would be debited. Now at the start of the year, we had total depreciation of 18,400, but this year we have uh, depreciated our assets further by 10,650. Uh, so the total depreciation would be the total of these two values. And what happens if you have sold an asset? My dear students, whenever we sell an asset, so the total depreciation of the asset that we have disposed of should be charged to where? it should be uh, transferred to a disposal account okay now at the the date of disposal what we need to do we need to uh, clear the provision account and we need to transfer the total provision to a disposal account a special account now as you can see note number one it mentions us that the total accumulated depreciation was seven thousand so what we need to do we need to transfer this seven thousand to disposal account so the entry would be provision would be debited and disposal account would be credited. Now at the end of the year, we are left with uh, the value uh, that is net, uh, that is uh, total depreciation or balance CD. Now, as you may be aware, whenever we balance an account, so the shorter side is always balance CD and this balance carried down would becomes balance brought down at the start of next accounting period. This would be a balance BD. So this is basically how we make a provision for depreciation account, also known as accumulated depreciation account. All right, uh, let us do one more exercise. And the next exercise that we are going to do is question number six from my worksheet of past papers. And this is question number six, cross B packing. Now, if you remember, we have already done this question previously. And previously we learned how to calculate depreciation uh, using month wise policy and now we are going to make the provision for depreciation account as well now before making a provision account let me give you a quick recap of how we calculated depreciation in this question now in first January we bought a machine for 12,000 that is 2014 next year 2015 end of September we have bought another machine that is machine B for 16,000 and in 2016, the third year, we have sold, disposed of one of the machines, that is machine A, and we have sold it for how much? For 7500. Now, the policy for depreciation is 20% reduced, uh, straight line method, sorry. It's a straight line, also known as cost method. And the important thing to uh, remember is that here it is a month wise policy. Depreciation charge in the year of purchase or sale is based on month months of ownership now uh, my dear students whenever the examiner doesn't mentions uh, that either we should charge a full year policy or it's a month year policy we are always going to assume it's a month wise policy okay and but if the examiner says that uh, no fully depreciation should be charged in the year of purchase and no depreciation in the year of disposal then it would be a full year policy now here the examiner clearly mentioned it's a month wise policy so first of all let us see how we calculated depreciation previously now as you can see we need to charge depreciation for two years that is 15 and 16. now we have two machine one for machine a and one column is for machine b we are doing the rough workings now machine a we uh, originally bought on 2014 that is start of the year for 12,000. now we are not going to charge depreciation for 14 why because we just need to make a T account for which years for 15 and 16. Okay. Now, as you can see, the uh, for 2015, we are going to chart depreciation for the entire year. Why? Because firstly, we have not bought the machine in 2015. Uh, we bought it in 2014. Okay. And secondly, we bought in 14 uh, also at the start of the year. So this means the machine would have been used in use. Uh, in 2014, we must have used for the entire year that is from January till December and in 2015 as well, we have used the machine for entire 12 months. So what are we going to do? We need to apply 20% on 12,000 to in order to get depreciation of 2400. Now what happened in the second year that is 2016 for machine A? What was the fate of machine A? Now as you can see machine A, we sold it in 2016 after using it for 6 months. Okay. So in a month wise policy, we are going to charge depreciation on the asset that we have disposed of uh, up till the point that we have used. Okay. So in this year, that is 2016, we have used the asset for six months. Now, instead of charging depreciation for the entire year in 2016, 
the way we did in 2015 we are going to charge depreciation for six months only now first of all we need to apply 20 percent on the original cost in order to get 2400 that is fully a depreciation then we are going to prorate this for six months so we need to apply a proportionate it for six upon 12 that is half year depreciation half year of 2400 is 1200 okay so what about machine b now as you can see machine b has been bought by Crosby packing uh, at the end of September so this means in 2015 we have just used the machine for three months only which months October November and December okay only for three months now first of all we are going to apply 20 percent on 16,000 in order to get the entire year depreciation that is 3200 and out of this 3200 we need to apply 3 upon 12 okay because we have uh, not used the asset in September up till September we haven't used it because we have just bought at the end of the September so the first month for this machine would be uh, October October number December only three months that is 800 but in the second year that is 2016 as you can see we have just bought the machine uh, three years before so we are uh, no longer want to uh, sell the machine right now okay because it is as good as new so we are going to uh, use the machine for the entire year that is 16 so we are going to charge uh, 16,000 multiplied by 20% uh, in order to get this 3200 okay so this was the depreciation now what we need to do we need to make a provision account for which years uh, that is 15 and 16 now my dear students uh, we had a machine previously in 14 as well so we are going to write balance BD okay so the provision is credit in nature so the balance BD always comes on the credit side okay now at the start of 15 now as you can see we have a machine that we bought in 14 okay so we must have used the machine for the entire year in 14 as well why because we have bought the machine at the start of the year of 2014 okay so in the first year we uh, had chart depreciation uh, 12,000 times 20% that is 2400 in 2014 we charge 2400 in 15 also we charge depreciation for the entire year but in 16 we have just charged depreciation for six months okay so we had a depreciation of entire year of 14 so the 14 closing balance would becomes balance bd at the start of 15 okay so this was the depreciation prior to 15 that is for 2014 for machine a only so we do not have any balance bd for machine b why because we have just bought the machine in this year that is 2015 and we haven't the used the asset for the entire 12 months in 15 we have just used it for three months so this is the balance bd in a provision account balance bd always comes on the credit side so whenever we are going to charge depreciation the entry would be income statement would be debit and the provision account would be credit now we are not going to make separate uh, provision accounts for both the machines that is machine a or b instead we are going to make a combined account for both of the machines okay so the total depreciation in 2015 for machine a and b both would be 3200 we need to add up both of these so the entry would be income statement would be debit and provision account would be credited so the provision is a contra asset it always increase when we are going to credit it okay so the opening provision was 2400 and this year the provision was 3200 so we need to add up both of these so the total provision is 5600 okay 5600 then the shorter side would be the what balance CD shorter side this is the balance CD now this balance carried down would becomes balance brought down at the start of the next year that is January 16 okay now in uh, the second year that is 2016 we have two machines A and B again we need to add up both of these depreciations in order to get the total depreciation for the year 2016 okay so the entry would remain the same the entry would be income statement would be debited and the provision account would be credited now uh, previously at the start of 16 we had total depreciation of 5600 and in 2016 we charge further depreciation we are going to add both of these in order to get total depreciation of 10,000 now uh, in the last year in 2016 we should also do this balance CD but before doing balance CD uh, we need to see uh, have if we need to ask a question have we sold uh, one of the machine yes we have sold one of the machine uh, which machine machine a in 2016 and now as you may remember whenever we sell a machine the cost of the machine is being transferred to the provision uh, so to the disposal account 
and so is the total provision for a machine as well. So the total provision till date of the machine that we just disposed of also need to be transferred to where a disposal account. Now as you can see the provision is credit in nature. So whenever we are going to uh, close the provision account we need to debit it and we need to transfer it to where disposal account. Now the question here arises that how much total depreciation has been charged till date on machine A. Now as you can see machine A was bought in January 14. So we used the machine for entire year for 2014 and the, again the full year for 2015. So both of the years depreciation should be 2400 per year. Okay. So if I add 2400 two times this would give me 2400 for 2014 and 2400 for 2015 and in 2016 we have just the, used the asset for 6 months only. Okay. So we are need uh, we're going to add depreciation half year further depreciation that is for 2016. If I am going to add up all of these, so the total depreciation would be 6000. Okay, total depreciation would be 6000. So, what we need to do, we need to uh, charge this 6000 total to where to disposal account. Okay, so out of this 10,000, 6000 uh, total depreciation was for machine A. As we have sold the machine A, we are going to uh, depreciate, uh, we are going to transfer the total depreciation till date in the disposal account. And now the depreciation that we are left with is from machine B only. And the total depreciation that is left, that is 4000. Now as you can see machine B, we have just bought in 2015 and the depreciation for 2015 for machine B was 800 and in 16 we have used it for entire year and 3 months and 12 months total 15 months depreciation was 4000 okay this is balance cd and this balance cd would becomes balance bd at the start of next accounting period okay so this was the total provision for depreciation account